a tutorial on 4.3a1 um, solving problems using an organized list. I've uh, done some pre-writing on this sheet to make it a little bit faster for us. Uh, Virginia and Robert have a dozen of each of the following types of cookies, chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, snickerdoodle, and shortbread. If they want to divide the cookies into packages of two dozen with one dozen of each type of two uh, well, one dozen of each of two types of cookies per package. How many different ways can they group them? Well, so I just wrote them all out. And then I kind of use this. I use the same one if I'm going to do a softball tournament, really. You could do it like this. You could have cookies, you know, chocolate chip, and oatmeal raisin. You could have chocolate chip and snickerdoodles. You could have chocolate chip and shortbread. So those are three different ways. And then you go to oatmeal raisin. Now you've already had oatmeal raisin and chocolate chips, so you're just gonna move forward here, and this time we'll go on top. We're gonna have oatmeal raisin and snickerdoodle. Or we could have oatmeal raisin and shortbread. Now, when we get to the snickerdoodles, we've already had snickerdoodles and oatmeal raisin. We've already had snickerdoodles and chocolate chip. We have snickerdoodles and shortbread. And that's the only one we can have. I mean, shortbread has already been paired with all of these other cookies. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six different ways that you could um, have one dozen of each type of those cookies. That's much the same type um, down here, number two. Number two is just a little bit different. Um, I actually come up with two answers to this problem. How many two, how many different two-digit numbers can be made using these digits? Well, the first thing I thought of, well, this is a two-digit number, right? And they didn't say that we couldn't use the same number twice. So I put those four down. And I think these are the four that the book is going to say that there's four or less answers, but I'm just a little more clever than the book. So then I do the same thing. I could have 229. I could have 26, I could have 23. Okay, now when I get to nine, yes, I could have 92. I can go backwards on this one because it's not, 92 and 29 are not the same number. But then I could have 96 and 93 as well. So you can see I'm filling in the chart. I could have 69, I could have 62, I could have 63, I could have 36, I could have 39, and I could have 32. Those are all the different numbers you could possibly have. All right, so uh, 1, 2, 3, 3 times 4 would give 12, or 16 if you can double. All right, let's see. I'm going to do one more that um, is kind of like this first one. I call it the softball tournament. Uh, and that's what they're actually doing. Juan and Andrew are planning a softball tournament for the fall. There are six teams. How many different team pairings could they make for the first tournament game? Well, one could play two. One could play three. One could play four. Oops. One could play five. And one could play six. Now what's going to happen is you're going to get this sliding effect here because when we get down to six, six will have already been paired against each of these others using this strategy. Okay, so uh, two can't play one. We can't go backwards because one has already played two here, so we can just move forward. So two could play three. Two could play four, two could play five, two could play six. See how it's getting shorter? Now you're at three. Three could play four, three could play five, three could play six. Now we're at four. Four could play five, four could play six, and now we're at five, five could play six. That's a gift. I don't know. That's crazy. I just see the answer. You can call me Rain Man. Only your parents are going to get that reference. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 
So you get 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which I believe is 15. <coughs> Excuse me. So 15 possibles, pairings. Okay. All right. You can try the other ones on your own.